Yo, what's happening, man? It's your boy, Papa Duck. Set this out, man. I did a video about collateral consequences, right? A few people feeling a certain type of way, especially on TikTok. You know, they had this to say, that to say, like, as if I made this shit up or whatever, right? But listen, I got a video. Hopefully, this can clarify what collateral consequences are, which is when you become a convicted felon, and you leave prison and try to come back into society, you are faced with 45,000 different collateral consequences. You're gonna have issues with bearing arms, you're gonna have issues with getting jobs, issues with government assistance, programs, higher education, you name it. But the crazy thing is, I'm gonna show you what even the judge didn't know all the collateral consequences, right? And like I say, man, this is just me bringing awareness to this because a lot of people have never heard of this before, okay? And the last thing I want y'all to um, know before I show y'all this video is silver toy mortis. I talk about it all the time, man. Silver toy mortis is when you become a convicted felon and you get stripped of all your civil rights. So in the eyes of the law, you can't compete. You're a dead man. They consider you a dead man by law because you have a felony you out of the race okay now civil law martyrs is the loss of all and almost all civil rights by a person due to a conviction for a felony or due to an act by the government of the country that results in the loss of civil rights now look what the first thing it said civil death you are a dead man in the eyes of the law because you cannot compete anymore by being a convicted felon in the united states and it's 45,000 different collateral consequences. Now, check this out. If I run this video, y'all please share it. Put your comments on here. But most importantly, hopefully, um, you can run this by your son, your nephew, your, your niece, your uh, uncle, whoever. Because a lot of people have never heard of this. It's called collateral consequences. And it's over 45,000 of them. All right? So with no further ado, man, y'all check this video out. Y'all already know what time it is. The ABA has made public and accessible some 45,000 penalties, sanctions, and restrictions that are distinct, as we just heard. One of the barriers is collateral consequences. That is, they come out of jail or prison, they try to get a job, and they either find that they're barred by law or regulation from pursuing an occupation, or that even if they're not, employers won't hire them. The long-term, sometimes lifetime impact of a criminal record is gonna keep many people from obtaining employment, accessing housing, higher education, loans and credit, even if they've paid their dues to reduce the broad set of collateral consequences, which keeps one in every 13 African-American adults from voting. A very good, compassionate uh, judges, and they think about um, uh, collateral uh, consequences, <laughs> The problem is that um, they don't know what all of the collateral consequences are. Man, look at that shit, man. Even a judge don't know how many collateral consequences there are. When you take pleas, one of the things that a judge has to do, he has to advise the defendant that he must understand the nature of the crime that's being committed and the consequences of his actions. And if he doesn't know the consequences, and the judge doesn't know the consequences, there are going to be legal problems down the road. Folks who have paid their debt uh, uh, to society in terms of being incarcerated and who have come home and face the myriad collateral sanctions that make it difficult for them to get on their feet and be productive. Uh, we all know some of these things. We all know that if you are convicted of a felony, you lose the right to vote, you can't have a gun, you can't hold public office, you can't serve on a jury. We all know those things. But there are so many consequences out there that we don't know about. Consequences that can affect your job, your ability to get a license, your ability to find a place to live, uh, your public benefits, potentially your parental rights. In Illinois, if you are convicted of a felony, it is a crime for you to be in possession of a puppy that's older than 12 weeks old that has not yet been spayed. Um, now, it may be that that isn't going to affect that many people, but who would know that? And it's a crime. Uh, and so these are the less serious examples, but there are so many that are so serious and that affect people. 
You can't be a hair cutter someplace, even after they've taught you to cut hair in the prison. It's, um, it's a problem, and it's a problem because we don't even know what they are. Ex-felons who have paid their debt to society have fallen victim to collateral consequences as a result of their conviction. Former prosecutor turned defense attorney Jerry Summer says collateral consequences are greatly affecting convicted felons. You're talking about uh, uh, employment. You're talking about all kinds of government programs that up and or eliminate you from being considered for, uh, to be included. Programs like federal scholarships, public housing, and even certain federal health care benefits. Summer says more defense attorneys will start presenting collateral consequences to the court when their clients are offered plea deals as a way to show damages their clients may face even after incarceration. But it's not just whether you give somebody probation or whether you give them a uh, workhouse sentence or whether you, or you make them go off to the penitentiary. Um, that's not the end of it. There's going to be other consequences. The report goes on to say, people convicted of a crime have no hope of ever being able to fully discharge their debt to society. And if you think just because your record is expunged and no one will know about it, think again. In Tennessee, the district attorney's office keeps a copy of a conviction uh, of an expungement, a diversion, in order that they can make certain that a person only gets it one time. So given what we've seen in that report, you're probably wondering what this means about our justice system. A definite problem for African Americans. According to the Uniform Law Commission, the negative effects of a criminal conviction is substantially larger for blacks than whites. Former convicted felon turned motivational speaker Charmaine Going says he understands why collateral consequences affects African Americans a lot harder than Caucasians. Because we don't have that support, we don't have that knowledge, we don't have the people who are willing to give us a chance, hey, you know, so it sticks out a little bit more than, than it would anybody else. We like to say that, hey, in America, you pay your debt to society and we're going to get another chance. However, in the present atmosphere, and um, I think that that's not really as true as it used to be. After people pay a fine and after they serve a jail or a prison sentence and they think they've paid their dues, they actually face a lifetime punishment. And the lifetime punishment in many places is the collateral consequence of conviction. There are many, probably no one, I suspect in any state could list them all without looking at our inventory. They get added to over time. A crime is committed and the legislature responds to it in a knee-jerk way by saying, let's prevent somebody who committed that crime from having this kind of job. And the end result is that it is very difficult for many returning citizens to find employment, to get decent housing, to finish their education. And what is the result of that? The result of that is too many return to crime. Now, hopefully you learned something, okay, because they're not teaching this shit in school. And this is the reason a lot of people get taken advantage of that they don't know. So before you question me, bro, I'm just bringing this to you, and you can take it a step further, okay? That's all I do, all right? No harm intended. This might help you. This might help your son. This might help your daughter, your nephew. That's it, bro. Just doing my part, homie. All right? So with that being said, y'all ain't got to keep bashing me about something. If it's something you don't agree with, which we are going to disagree, just research it, bro. That's all I'm saying. My intentions are good. And like I tell you all the time, in order for you to be found, you must first be lost. I'll holler at y'all on the next video. Peace.